Breaking news, Nigerians. U.S. economic professor tackles Nigerian president Mohamed Buhari for conducting flawed election won by Tinubu amid insecurity and economic crisis. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all. United States professor of applied economics at Johns Hawkins University, Stephen Hake, her stockholders president, Muhammad Buhari, for his satisfaction with the outcome of the February 25th presidential election, which saw Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, emerge victorious. Hake, a vocal critic of Buhari's administration, stated this on his verified Twitter page chastising the Nigerian president for ignoring the country's socio-economic problems to focus on conducting a poll that did not reflect the people's true will. He said, Nigeria ranked the lowest in the world when it comes to safety and security, according to Kato Institute's 2022 Human Freedom Index. Instead of paying attention to the safety of his people, Press, Nigeria is focused on more important things such as staging a flawed ele election. Hashtag Nigeria Watch. Under press, worry human freedom in Nigeria has gone from bad to worse. Buari's most recent blunder was his blessing of a flawed presidential election in which his man, Bola Tinubu, was declared the winner. The 2023 Nigerian presidential election was held on February 25, 2023, to elect Nigerian's president and vice president. Bola Tinubu, the former governor of Lagos State and the All Progressive Congress nominee, won the election with 36.16% of the votes totally 8,794,000 8, votes. The former Vice President Atiku Abubaka of the People's Democratic Party and the former Governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi of the Labour Party, finished second and third, respectively. The final result was announced on March 1st, but Abubaka and Obi immediately challenged it. Other federal elections, including those for the House of Representatives and the Senate, was conducted on the same day. Why state elections was, will take place on March 11. The inauguration of the new president is set for May 29, 2023. Nigerians are not happy with what happened. And um, some national observers, they are not happy with this election that 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 uh, produced Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the president elect. And as you can see, Nigerians are really talking about this. We did not vote for you. Nigerians are saying that they stole our mandate. Why? But why would President Muhammad Buhari allow this to happen? After promising us free and fair, you know, election, he said that this election is going to be free and fair. He said it's going to be neutral. He told us that Nigerians should vote for whoever they want to vote for. They played us. They deceived us. Making us to believe that it's neutral. And all those shots, when APC governors, they shot. All of them are wash washing. They just stage that so that Nigerians will believe that President Muhammad Buhari has changed. We begged him, at least for all these things, these, these things, all these bad, bad things, when we say you don't do, when we say we didn't suffer, since you started with the uh, border closure, we didn't suffer. That one day one side. Bandits and Boko Haram killings. That one day one side. 
That is insecurity. That one day, that one side. Poverty. The hike of prices of things. We see they suffer all these plenty, plenty things. They still come with Naira policy. He told us that with these politicians who want to, you know, buy votes, they will not see any means to buy votes. So that means Nigerians will cast, you know, their votes. They, they will vote their conscience. That is what they made us to believe. That if there is no money, Nigeria, Nigerians will really vote their conscience. We never knew that. They are, all those are just wash washing. So maybe what they just did it for the opponents, they, they knew what they are doing. That is why President Muhammad Buhari rushed me to congratulate Bola Ahmed Tinubu and made all these controversies for this election. Who go talk, say, you know, see what happen. Thank God for social media that whatever that is happening is being showed. It's being, it's being, it's being televised everywhere. The world watched that and they are still watching. Are we talking about the irregularities? Are we talking about the game, the INEC play and all that? This, this, this uh, election, INEC used about two years to prepare for this election. Billions of Naira were spent at the end of the day with the use payers. Nigerians are still saying that they still have the chance right now to correct the wrongs. I don't think it's right for you to go against people's wishes. Allow people to choose who rule them. It's important. Nigerian politicians should stop this. Politics is not do or die. Two things are involved. It's either you lose or you fail. It's either you lose or you, or you win. I beg your pardon. That is what I meant to say. Not they force yourself on people. You hire Turks. People died because you want power. And tell me what kind of power is that? And you think you will enjoy your ring. It's not possible. You don't play with God. God not be small picking. You understand? Anyway, guys, so now don't hear and now. You see waiting. Outsiders, don't they tell us? Did they talk him? He say Nigerian president, he not do well. This one self is coming from U.S. economic professor. He don't tackle President Muhammad Buhari for conducting a flawed election won by Tinubu amid insecurity and economic crisis. When I see where they don't carry on skip, no late God will save this country. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.